Hello, this is Christy, and today we will look at how to blur car license plates on a video. It's very hard to do because if the cars are moving, you need to be changing the location of the blur mask to follow the license plate. So you cannot do re this manually unless it's a very, very short sequence. So how do you do it so that you don't have to work so hard? I'm going to show you how to do this in Premiere. And as you've seen, I have a video here and I have already done it on this car here. This is a sequence and you can see that the license plate is blurred, but the other car isn't. And this is particularly hard because the car, the license plate is moving all over the screen and also comes out in the shade, comes out into the light and back into the shade and it's different angles of movement. So you couldn't possibly do this manually because it would take you such a very long time. So how do you achieve this in Premiere? I want to show you how to do that. As you've seen on this video, I have already done this for one of the cars. And I want to do it for the other one that comes from afar, turns here and goes back. So how do you do this? On the clip, I've added it to my timeline. And on the clip, you want to add a Gaussian blur effect. So go to the effects panel and search for blur. And then choose Gaussian blur from this one and drag it on your clip in the sequence in the timeline. Now go to the effect controls panel and your Gaussian blur effect is here. So how do we make it track and follow the license plate of the car? Well, at the moment, the car is not in the frame, so I cannot really do much until I see it. So the way we will do it on this clip is by fast forwarding to where the car turns and start to go back. So this is about here. This is the place where we will start. It's okay. You can go backwards also. So we will move the video playhead here and in the Gaussian blur effect on the panel there, you have this free draw Bezier tool. Let me just show you first. If I turn up the blurriness, obviously that's going to blur the whole video. What we want to do is add a mask where this effect applies. So I'm going to turn it down again and I will choose the free draw Bezier. I'm not choosing circle or rectangle four point polygon because um, these are, you know, it's not exactly straight. So I can start with this tool and click on it. And then on your video, just click on the corners of the area you want to mask like so. Here you go. And now if I turn the blurriness up, you will see that only the area in the selection has been blurred. So far, so good. But how do we make this one follow the car around without having to manually adjust it for every single frame? If I go forward like this with the mask path, you see that the key framing has been turned on for this mask path. Meaning that if I track it forward, I just go one frame forward, it is moving with the license plate. It's detecting where the license plate pixels are moving and it's changing the mask to follow. So all I have to do really from now, instead of clicking for each frame, is to just click on the other button, track selected mask forward. And I can click this and Premiere is going to play the video forward and it's going to move this mask detecting where the license plate is. According to the detected, the um, selection area I created initially. And when it's done, it's going to hopefully follow the license plate back to its play place. You notice I'm tracking forward from this point to the end. So it may take a while. You can actually track backwards also. So we will see how we do this once we've finished tracking this one. 
You notice on this effect timeline here, because keyframing is on, Premiere is creating keyframes here. You can't see this progress as it's doing it, but after it's finished, every single frame will have a keyframe with a position of this mask. So that's how it's doing it. It's following this area that we have defined until the end of the clip. So we will wait until it's finished. Right, it has finished now. So let's see if the effect is working by playing back, moving the play, play cursor back to where we started. You notice it's not working from here backwards because we have not tracked that part of the video yet. But starting here, let's play it. As you can see, the mask is following the license plate and the whole thing remains blurred for the whole duration. That's great. Now, you may see that sometimes if it doesn't detect very well or if there are changes in lighting or size, it may skew it a bit or turn it left or right. It doesn't matter. If you're not happy with an area or it doesn't cover an area, all you have to do is from that point onwards, just move to where the point where the area doesn't blur anymore and if you if you want you can adjust it in that point correct it more like and then you can tell it to track again from that point onwards so like you see here I'm adjusting the mask slightly and now I can tell it to track it again from this point onwards so this is how you do correction until you get it all right Okay, I have finished tracking again from that point onward. So uh, you can see now if I deselect this effect here, I'm not going to see the outline of my mask anymore. So if you, as you can see, my video is blurring the license plate all the way to the end. Now, what do we do about the other part? So this is the point where we started somewhere around here. Okay, so this is perfect here. Now, from this point backwards, I can do the same. And I will open this mask. And in this situation, I will track backwards. The, tr the stuff we tracked forward is going to stay there. And now we will track backwards so that we will move the mask to the first segment of the video. The one that the car is coming from afar. Okay, Premiere has finished tracking the mask all the way to the beginning of the clip. So now let's see if the effect has been achieved for the entire duration of the clip. I'm going to fit this one to be larger. So let's see. I can already see the license plate is not visible. This is the point where we started initially and now it's all following it to the end. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is a very nice um, effect. And of course, you can use this mask tracking, not just for blurring, you can use it for other objects of other sizes and other shapes. Uh, maybe you can blur faces of people, although, you know, it very much depends on the lighting, the orientation. So you may have to stop at different points and readjust the mask and then tell it to track it to the end. But in um, all um, cases, we have saved a lot of time because we didn't have to track and modify the mask for every single frame. And by the way, just to tell you, this video is a, actually a 60 frame per second video. So I would have spent a lot of time um, masking this license plate if I needed to. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy my videos. Please subscribe to my channel and see you next time. <music>